and I believe you watch I'll be vindicated about three weeks two weeks from now that'll continue into Monday and maybe on Tuesday before some showers and thunderstorms and we could be looking at two to four inches of rain across the region all right uh, today we finally have some real rain in the forecast Tonight, the first rounds come. Good evening, everyone. Looks like our rain fortunes are going to be changing. We've had a very dry October, but by this weekend, as we get into November, we're already going to see rain back in the picture by afternoon or evening, and I think this is a little fast, certainly by evening. Tonight, the first rounds coming, and then throughout the weekend, up to three to four inches they're calling for. So my food plots are ready. They're all planted, ready to go. Just waiting for the rain. But I'm gonna dig a hasty watering hole down at the bottom of a cut. Maybe a couple of them, just a real fast, not a real one, basically a temporary one. You can see up here, uh, where this field kind of bowls down and two, three different directions. That's where I'm going to cut the water hole. Like I said, just a hasty hole it should collect water, especially if we get three inches of rain. We could see widespread light to moderate showers develop across the area, and that should be a good soaking rain. Now, this boundary will continue to lift to the north, taking the rain with it through the overnight hours. By Sunday, we'll have a little bit of a break from the moisture, although I think we'll keep cloud cover around. As we head into Sunday afternoon and evening, I think we'll see more thunderstorms develop, mainly in the western half and northwestern half of the Ozarks. So that's the plan. We got, I mean, we got a little germination in here. Not enough for a valid food source, though. Oh, jeez, I just hit a big stump log. Okay. All right. Start with pulling that cedar out right there on the edge so I can collect some more water. And I'm going to put it right over here. Matter of fact, I don't think I need to. I don't think I need to pull that cedar. I could make it just a little channel right around this edge here. That'll continue into Monday and maybe on Tuesday before that rain moves out of the area. Now, with several rounds of rain forecasted for the region on Halloween, we're expecting a half to one inch of rain Wednesday night and early Thursday morning. But add in the rain over the weekend and multiple rounds of showers and thunderstorms, and we could be looking at two to four inches of rain across the region. I think this is a little robust, but still the rain looks promising. Collect all this water. All right, uh, let me do this. Basically, I'm going downhill right here. finish this check back in all right so you see my channel on that side so that water's all going to come down here i'm going to collect everything on this hill okay so in case you can't visualize it i know the gopro is kind of wonky this hill comes down just like this and i'm at the very middle so it's running downhill in three different directions and this is where i'm going to make the new water and pond right here at the bottom Everything I'm pointing at, that water is going to run here, and then I'll make another channel right this way and pull it down this way. And we're in the bottom. It's like a V down here, so this is perfect. Like I said, ain't going to be really super deep or big, but it'll be enough to where if it, if it holds water, we get this big rain, it'll last throughout this deer season. Surprisingly, it ain't as hard as I expected. So you see, 
see right there where my tail end is starting to go back uphill again. You know, it's like that little spring the tiniest, you know, it's just staying wet, but man, them deer are drinking that every time they walk by it. Just to get that fresh water. I think I'm going to put some tunes on. Keep digging. Alright, just wrapping it up. You can see the horseshoe now. Um, it could dam up. It could water up all the way to this little makeshift dam. and It could be all the way up about here. But likely it won't. But like I said, it's a real hasty one. With as much rain as we're going to get, if it fills all the way up, Right now I'm cutting the opposite side, the little trench, to bring in more water. It'll be fun watching it fill up. Check back in after this weekend, or even after tonight for the first rain. You could do this stuff if you had a tractor. I mean, if you got a little terrain on your property, just pick a low spot. You know, where the water's already running naturally. And can just dam it up a little bit. That's, that's really it. Of course, some of these states, you need permits and freaking, oh, I've been through all that. Army Corps engineer and DNR permits and whatnot. That's why I moved out of them. Can't do nothing on your own property anymore in some of these states. Now I could run the blade over that, flatten it out, but I got somewhere else to get on work on something so we'll check in on this and see if my terrain vision was accurate or not so now I'm starting to slope downhill again here so it ain't gonna help all right there you have it it's gonna be a fun spot for someone to be hunting here in a couple weeks And I believe, you watch, I'll be vindicated about three weeks, two weeks from now from all of the naysayers. You'll see vindication coming. You can see it, you know, on the reflection of the sun, nice green over there. So that's what it could look like, or it will, three weeks from now. Alright, let's hit it.